You might be so glued to your phone that you risk your life and others once behind the wheel. But now might be a good time to get out of the habit of texting while driving. Our Jessica Lawrence gets the scoop on a new proposed bill that could crack down on cell phone use while driving. You might be very familiar with this sound of texting on a phone's keyboard. And if you're lucky, not as familiar with the sound of screeching brakes. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates 660,000 drivers using their electronic devices while driving during the day. One, a number that most drivers don't consciously realize they are a part of. AAA spokeswoman Tiffany Wright stresses the importance of putting the phone down. You know, what I would say is driving's hard enough already, you know, that you don't need to add to that or exacerbate it by, you know, using your cell phone behind the wheel. And that is the one thing that you were meant to do when you get behind the wheel, and that's drive the car. South Carolina law states that it is unlawful for a person to use a wireless electronic communication device to compose, send, or read a text-based communication while operating a motor vehicle on public highways of this state. And if a person is found in violation, they must be fined no more than $25. Legislatures indicate that in a state with nearly 5 million residents, police only issue about 1,300 texting while driving tickets each year. Bob Mantono, the owner and founder of A1 Driving Training School, also says the current law is laughable. That's a joke. It needs to be substantial enough that people will stop and think before they do it. Montono is a retired teacher who taught driver's education for over 30 years and emphasizes that teenagers aren't the only one distracted driving. I see the parents constantly on their phones, stopped at a red light or stop sign. I see an adult driver on their phone. As of 2014, South Carolina law states that you can use your cell phone while parked or stopped in your vehicle. But if a proposed hands-free bill gets passed, even holding your cell phone while behind the wheel could result in you getting a ticket. The hands-free bill was introduced in January. This bill would ensure officers the authorization to write more tickets for texting while driving, and it could also mean that fines could increase as much as 12 times. And with the help of this new proposed bill, hopefully it can't get any worse than it currently is. So let's put the phone down and put both hands on the wheel so there will be less of texting behind the wheel and more of, sorry, I'm driving. Carolina News, I'm Jessica Lawrence. To gather more testimony before sending out the proposed bill to a full committee.